video I am going to be sharing my everyday jewellery. This has surprisingly been probably my most requested video and I have ummed and awed about this for a while mainly because I wasn't sure I have a big enough collection to share with you guys. So instead I figured I would share the pieces that I tend to wear every day or that I alternate between. I'm going to start by talking about necklaces. So necklaces are probably my most favourite article of jewellery. One of my favourite stores to buy necklaces from is Single Store which I'm sure you guys would have seen coming because this is pretty much all I wear. Cinco Store is a really great online store to buy jewellery from. They have a really amazing selection of gold and silver pieces and they have really amazing styles and a very wide variety as well so I find that there's so much to suit different people because they have quite quirky necklaces and they also have really nice and classic pieces too. So the first necklace is this globe necklace. I I'm obsessed with this necklace. I have worn it to absolute oblivion, which I'm sure you can tell because it's no longer the colour that it was when I first purchased it. And that is all down to me. I spray my perfumes on top and I know you shouldn't, but I just do it and I just never learn from my mistakes and it has turned into this kind of more of a rustic gold which I have surprisingly actually had a lot of compliments on and a lot of people do prefer that colour too. I find Cinco Store necklaces really amazing to layer and mix and match and the pair that I tend to wear the most is this globe necklace along with this square necklace with a rose in the middle because I find that they just complement each other so well. The globe is a lot more bold and I find the rose necklace a little bit more on the dainty and more feminine side and it's a lot more subtle. So this rose necklace, I tend not to actually wear it on its own but as you can see it has been worn just as much as my globe because I always wear them together. And moving on, so now you can see what the product actually looks like when it first arrives. I have two more necklaces from Single Store. The first is this heart necklace. So when I first saw this on Instagram, I fell in love. I found it so cute. And Cinco Store was so kind to send me it because they knew how much I loved it. And I'm so grateful for that because I, oh, it's just so, it's so pretty. So this necklace doesn't have an adjustable length. So it kind of just sits chest level, which I think is still a perfect length for me because it means I can still wear it with shirts. Final one from Cinco Store is one that I have been wearing on a super regular basis. It's just really pretty. I tend to wear this one on its own because I think it's just quite a nice bold design on its own and it just adds just a little something something. It's not too crazy um, but it's not too simple either. I think it would look really nice with a choker as well but I've kind of not experimented with it too much. Moving on to this Astrid Amin necklace. Again, Astrid Amin is a really great online store to buy jewellery from. They have a really wide range of jewellery but I'm going to start by talking about my double necklace. So this is called the Wishbone Choker. It's basically just a double layered necklace with really nice crystals and a wishbone. It's a really dainty necklace and it kind of just goes with absolutely everything because it's still so simple and so minimal. And another thing is that the gold is a really nice tone. I'm quite particular about the gold that I wear but this one is, is just right. Moving on to a more recent purchase and a little bit of a pricier one compared to the necklaces that I have just mentioned. So it's from the Celine Alphabet collection and obviously I have it in a H and I love this necklace. I loved it when I first saw it and I thought it would be a really great statement piece of jewellery to complement my style. Of course as I wear really minimal outfits I just wanted something that was kind of bold that I can you know throw on with a white t-shirt and jeans and really just lift my whole look. Next is a necklace that I get so many questions about on my channel and it's just a necklace that I picked up from Urban Outfitters in the store. It's a really pretty dainty necklace with a rose pendant. So I'm sure it's not available online anymore but I will hunt the internet for alternatives for you guys. It is so pretty. It's again one of those necklaces that are so nice to pair with other pieces and I tend to pair it with my single store necklaces. Moving on to earrings. I never really used to wear earrings too often. I have gotten a lot more into it over the past two years. I have 
three piercings on my left ear and then just the one piercing on my right. So I'm going to start by talking about these hoops from Monica Benader. I wear these hoops pretty much every day. They're my everyday go-to earring because they're just so simple. They're not too much of a statement. They kind of just go with everything and they work really well when I have my other two piercings in too because it kind of complements it. It doesn't look too crazy and kind of, you know, busy up there. In terms of my second and third piercing, I always go for something quite delicate and probably quite sparkly up there. Pieces that I tend to alternate between, well that's considering I can actually manage to get an earring through my third piercing, um, is my Misoma Cross. Misoma have such lovely earrings, especially for little dainty ones. And so for Misoma I have a cross earring. This one is just the perfect amount of kind of sparkle and style. I'm not very big on crystal jewellery but I really do love it in an earring. And finally I have really been into hoops recently. So the first pair of hoops are these from ASOS. Super big bold statement hoops but they just look really nice especially with something really simple like a white t-shirt and if my hair is up I really like to wear these earrings with it because it's a really nice statement and I also purchased this pair from Zara very different for me they're so bold um, and they're actually clip-ons but they're not too uncomfortable I really like the brushed effects on it it looks quite antique -y. it's just such a bold statement and so different to everything that I own and again it just complements my little earring really well so in terms of my arms, I don't tend to wear too much. I only really wear a watch and on the odd day I might throw on a bracelet. But in terms of watches, the brand that I wear the most is Rotary. The one that I wear every day right now, which is this really amazing blue dial watch with a rose gold detail and silver. For someone who never wears silver, I really love the way the gold and the silver complement each other. It's a really nice contrast. They're pretty affordable, really good quality, and yeah, I think they're, they've basically been like my go-to for my watches. Moving on to rings. My absolute favorite shop is Under the Stories. I buy most of my chunkier rings from there. They have amazing rings and pretty decent prices too. Under the Stories is a really great store to buy rings or buy jewellery from full stop, especially if you're looking for cheaper alternatives, but still something a little bit special. Another ring I've been sporting a lot recently is this pinky ring from ASOS. This is a very recent purchase and I just love it. I feel the pinky is so neglected, so I quite like wearing a ring there. I do have these two rings from Pandora which are my favourites. They're from the stacking collection. I love these the most because they're still quite simple. They're just so perfect for everyday wear. Pandora are really good quality. I was speaking to a few girls about the rings and you know we we're all discussing how they don't wear really quickly. You can have them for such a long period of time and I think that's so important with jewellery. You want it to last as long as possible because you end up falling in love with jewellery and I find I get so attached to my jewellery so the last thing I would want is for them to not last a long time. So that is my jewellery rounded up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I'm still quite rusty and completely out of practice at talking to my camera but hopefully I'll get back into the swing of things and do more chatty videos for you. Um, and another thing before I go, thank you guys so, so much for all the love you've been showing me on my channel since I've been back. My channel has grown so much since then mm -hmm. and there are so many newbies and it is just so lovely to see and just to hear your feedback and yeah, thank you guys so, so much and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!